GM and welcome back fam. In our continuing quest to show off how to use Titanoboa to run Llama Land liquidations, we finally arrived at self liquidations. The prior unit we looked at a soft liquidation, which it turns out there's a lot of examples of those on chain because UDGens really like to max borrow against the bleeding edge. But what's a bit rarer in Llama Lend is hard liquidations. And this is because soft liquidations are doing a very good job of protecting health, so you don't get in the case where you have to be hard liquidated. But it does happen sometime, and because it's rare, it's pretty useful to simulate these using BOA. So as with the previous units, we've compacted a lot of our work into some auxiliary files. Uh, these include some functions that just help display some basics. And we've also included this plotting library so we can see what's going on with the actual uh, state of the markets. To talk about the initial state here, you can see that the user that we're looking at has taken out a loan. And instead of max borrowing, um, where they would previously had closer to 100K, they only got about like 78 79k this time. Uh, still have a lot of their collateral Viper with hat token. And currently the Oracle prices are set to a dollar. So no one is subject to liquidation. This user is the only person in the vault. In the previous unit, we max borrowed. As mentioned in this case, we only about 80% borrowed. So uh, even though it's still a fairly risky N equals four bands, the hope would be that crypto markets are relatively stable and this user doesn't get hit. But we know that crypto markets are not stable, especially when it comes to meme coins. So let's go ahead and simulate a run-of-the-mill 25% price new, because you know, that happens all the time with meme coins. In order to drop the price, we simply take the Oracle, which if you look back a couple of units, we uh, actually just deployed a very simple Oracle pro contract where we could set the price at will, and we're going to set it to 75% of the current price. And you'll notice something interesting when you look at the vault summary here, which is that the Oracle price is all the way down to 75 cents, but the AMM hasn't caught up yet. So there's no users subject to liquidation. If you look at the chart here, there's a bit of a lag and uh, that the AMM has this exponential moving average, which is designed to kind of protect a bit against these sudden price wicks. So even though it's actually at 80 cents, uh, the... Um, and no one's available for liquidation, the Oracle's a bit lower. So if it stays on 75 cents for a few blocks, then we're going to know that we're, our user's going to be in trouble. Well, let's go ahead and time travel. Uh, when we were dealing with Brownie, we saw it was pretty useful to time travel to deal with things like going in the future and claiming rewards or testing four-year VECRV locking. Turns out that BOA also has a very useful feature called directly time travel. And this function, you can pass the argument of seconds, blocks, blocks delta, whatever is most convenient for you. Uh, so we'll go ahead and run a time travel. We're going to just type boa.env.time travel for 10 blocks. And this is going to, when you run this, finally catch up the Oracle price and the AMM price. So now we can see this blue line, this red line have caught up. And indeed, this user is now subject to liquidation. So this could be a bot that does it. It could be someone else. Um, but we're just going to run a self-liquidation because we say, all right, well, the price dropped. Uh, let's going to be better off just go ahead and closing this. No harm, no foul. It kind of acts like a stop loss. First thing we need to do is we need to figure out what's the value of Curve USD that we're going to need to liquidate ourselves. So if you take a look at the Curve USD controller, it comes with a helpful tokens to liquidate function, which is just the amount of stable coin you have to have in the wallet to liquidate a user. And as you read through the function, you'll notice that this value is going to be different depending on if it's a self-liquidation or someone else. If you are not the user sending this message, then there's this concept of a liquidation discount, and it's more complicated. We're going to be covering these in future units, how to liquidate other users. Uh, for self-liquidation, though, we don't have to worry about that. And we'll just go ahead and type this in. So if we type controller tokens to liquidate and pass our user, we are going to see that because of uh, the fact that our loan was accruing interest, we actually owe in these 10 blocks, we fast forwarded two cents worth of interest, uh, which means we don't have enough Curve USD in the wallet, we don't think, to actually run this. Um, because the only Curve USD in the wallet was the amount from the loan. So this puts us in a bit of a jam. We're going to need to exchange into the liquidity pool that we created. So how much do we actually need to put in in terms of our Viper with hat collateral token to trade out and get the Curve USD we need? 
Uh, this is the reason that these pools have a get dx function. So if you look at any of the two crypto optimized functions, uh, the contracts include a get dx function, which is helpful. But if you read through the notes here, you'll notice a big red flag. This is just an approximate method. It returns an estimate close to the input. It's too expensive to call it on chain. So this is a guideline. And because we're dealing with this off chain, it's pretty cheap for us to get the actual amount. Um, just be aware of this if you're using the get dx function, that's not going to be perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and deal with this by calling this as an integer. We'll take the liquidity pool, we'll call get dx. The trade is from token one to token zero. And we take the amount that we need and close it off. And it looks like we need 218 dot, 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 dot. Um, but when we actually run this as a get dy to see what that gets us out, and we find that we're less than the needed amount, we have a loop here that's just gonna ever so slightly tick that amount upwards until we get to an amount that actually satisfies this condition. So as you can see, it's like a few way worth of difference, a uh, few thousand way, I should say, um, essentially zero, but just something to be aware of. Finally, if you want to now run this, we're going to set our approvals. If it's less than the amount, we're gonna run this exchange and then we need to actually run the liquidation. Uh, to run the liquidation, we'll calculate the final amount of tokens we need to liquidate just in case it's different. We'll assert that this is enough tokens and if so, we'll run an approval and we will run it. Uh, to run it, if you look at the Curve USD controller, you can see once again the uh, difference between the self liquidation and an external user performing liquidation is this liquidation discount. We don't need to worry about it, just keep it in mind for future units. And we'll just go ahead and call that, uh, not self, uh, controller dot liquidate. And we'll pass the user, and you can pass to the liquidate function a min x that you hope to receive. Uh, this is gonna avoid sandwich attacks. We're just running this in our local environment, so we're not worried about MEV. Uh, so we're gonna set that to zero, but in practice, you should set this much closer to the amount you're expecting out. And sure enough, we have succeeded. So our wallet now has no curve USD. The Oracle price name and price is still the same, um, but there's no more users to liquidate. There's no more loans in this vault. The self-liquidation was successful. So we hope this saves your skin and saves your wallet a little bit of pain if you are playing with Curve Llama Land. The code, as always, is uploaded to our GitHub repository as well as the try.viperlang fun repo that they've got. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments, but we want you to stay safe and we hope this script is doing a lot for you.